Hi there, and welcome to another What on Earth Wednesday video. This is a video series that explains terms and features that I had absolutely no idea what people were talking about when I first heard them when I was learning Blender. I mostly approach these videos from the point of view of someone who is using Blender to create 3D printable models, but it also covers things that could be useful for general Blender users anyway. Today, I want to talk about normals. What on earth are normals? And why should I care about them? Now, to explain what normals are, I need something to illustrate the points. So to do that, what we're going to do is delete this cube by selecting the cube, pressing X and delete. Oh. No, actually, we need that cube. Let's get another one. We will add mesh cube. So here we have a normal cube. We also have camera and a light. Let's get rid of them, select those, X, delete. So here we have a normal cube. It's made up of only six faces, the four around the sides, one at the top and one at the bottom. Let's put another cube inside it. We'll add mesh cube. Now, if you look in the outliner, you can see there are two cubes. One is inside the other, which is why you can't see them. And they're both the same size. But let's scale this one down just a little bit. And in order to see what's going on, because it's inside, we'll turn X-ray mode on. So I'll press S to scale the cube down to there. So looking at this cube, if I unselect it, what do we have? We have a cube inside another cube. Or do we have one cube that's hollow and has walls going around here? There's absolutely no way to tell. Now, if I export this cube and put it into some software, for example, a 3D printer slicer, you'll see that it doesn't really know what to do with it either. For example, this is what Prusa slicer makes of it. And you can see it's completely ignored the inside cube and it's just given us a cube with very thin walls. What we need to be able to do is to describe this object to other software. So welcome to the wonderful world of normals. I just want to come out of edit mode, tab, and we'll turn X-ray mode off. Each face of this cube and every model in Blender, and in fact, each vertex too, has a direction that it is pointing in, and that is called its normal. This face normal is pointing straight up. This face normal is pointing to the right. So let's select both cubes, select one, and then I'll select the other one with shift. I have to use the outliner because I can't see the one inside. Here we have an option that shows us which direction the normals are facing, though you have to be in edit mode. It's in the viewport overlays over here. Down the bottom, you see these three icons? This is your face normals. If you select that, you can see there are little blue marks pointing in the direction that the face is pointing. These are the normals. Now we selected both cubes here. What I want to do is do a cross section and have a look at our little cube inside. So if we go Alt and B and do this, we get a cross section and we can look inside and we can see that the inside cube also has normals pointing in the same direction as the outside cube. But this is where the confusion is arising for Prusa Slicer. Prusa Slicer sees this outside wall and it needs to look for an inside wall. There isn't one. An inside wall would be a normal pointing in the opposite direction. You could argue that this is a normal pointing in the opposite direction. And in fact, it is. But generally speaking, it would expect the next wall in to be pointing in the opposite direction. Perhaps I can make that a little bit more clear if we try and turn this into something that Prusa Slicer will see as a hollow cube. What we need to do is have the normals of this inside cube pointing the other way. So how are we going to do that? 
Well, first of all, we'll come out of the cross section here with Alt B. And I would turn off the outside cube so we can see the inside cube. That was the outside cube. We will select all of its faces with A. We'll go to Mesh, Normals, Flip. Now you can't see that blue line anymore because it's pointing inwards. Now let's turn on our outermost cube again, like that. And we'll do our cross section again. Alt B. And now this maybe makes more sense. For this plane, we have the normals pointing up. And if you go through here, we find another plane with the normal pointing that way. So this bit in the middle can be filled in. It is infill because we have two inside walls facing each other. That's basically the way to think of it. So let's see what Prusa Slicer makes of this now. And there you have it. It has a hollow cube. This isn't really the easiest way to see the normals. Let me show you another way. I'm going to turn these off first by going into the viewport overlay and clicking this button again. We'll do the Alt B. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we go back into the viewport overlays and we turn face orientation on. Now you can see it's all gone blue. And when you have face orientation on, blue means outside. And red means inside. Let's do our cross section again. Or B. Perhaps that makes more sense. The red are the inside walls and the blue are the outside walls, or at least outward pointing walls. So we can have a nice solid all around there. Now, while we're here, I would recommend having face orientation on all the time. But I do appreciate, particularly when you're going to object mode, that working with something that's blue like this is not very easy. So to fix that, if we go into edit and our preferences and we go to themes and then go down to 3D viewport, if we scroll down to face orientation front, you'll see it set to blue. If you click in there and where it says alpha, change that to zero come out of there you'll see that it is now no longer blue but if i do an alt b the inside is still red i would recommend having that on all the time so now we know that normals are only the direction a face is pointing actually true of vertices too but we won't go into that and i have suggested you have face orientation on all the time. And the reason for that is because when you're modeling in Blender, particularly with sculpting and with various other bits and pieces, it's very easy to have the normals of a face or part of your model pointing in the wrong direction. And then you're going to have problems. And I'll demonstrate this in a very easy way. We'll delete this cube first with X and delete. Oops, there's the inside of our cube. X and delete. We'll add a plane, add mesh plane. And I'm going to duplicate this with Shift and D and move it along the Y axis to here. We now have two objects and I'm going to extrude them. I'm going to turn face orientation off on these actually, just for now. I don't recommend it, but as I'm demonstrating the problems that occur when you don't have it on, I think it's important to not have it on. We're going to edit mode for this plane. And I'm going to extrude this face. I have to go into face mode first. And we're going to extrude this face down. E. And we'll move down, let's say to there. And then I'm going to go back into object mode. Select this plane. And I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to extrude this face up. Along the Z. Okay, so we now have two cubes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this cube so it intersects with this cube. I need to do that in object mode, actually. Grab Y, move it there. Z, move it there. Let's do a grab X, and move it there. So we now have two intersecting cubes. 
And what we'd like to do is use this cube to cut out this shape in that one. And the way to do that in Blender would be to use a Boolean. We're going to go into the Modifiers tab over here. We're going to add a modifier. I'm going to add the Boolean modifier. This is how you join things together or you subtract things from each other. We're going to have this set to difference. And with the pipette, we're going to choose the other object. Now this, in theory, will make this cube cut out of this cube. So when we turn this off, we should have a hole where it was in this other cube. So let's turn it off. Hmm? That doesn't seem to have worked. Now why might that be? Let's turn face orientation on again. Ooh, this one has its normals the wrong way around. And we just created two cubes, but this one ended up with the normals the wrong way around. But just to be absolutely sure, let's select this cube, go into edit mode, select all the faces with A, mesh, normals, flip. Now it's normals are the right way around. Go back to object mode, select this cube again, and let's have a look if our Boolean works now. There you go. And that Boolean didn't work purely because the normals were the wrong way around. And this problem accounts for at least half the problems people have with Booleans, is that they have normals the wrong way around. So please, 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 always work with face orientation on. Now remember, Normals are not just the difference between the inside and the outside, but for most people, particularly in 3D printing, that's the most important thing to know, that they are the inside and outside. But normals describe the direction a face is pointing, and that can also be useful to know in some cases. Let's turn this Boolean off. Let's take this cube and go into edit mode. If we select all the faces and extrude, you would expect the cube to get bigger, I guess, but let's see what happens. We press E and some odd thing. That's not what you expect. Let's control Z out of that. If we go Alt E, we get a little menu up. One of the options is to extrude faces along normals, which means the faces will all move along their normals. And as we all know what normals are now, we can guess what will happen. So there you go. If you'd like to see some of the other videos in the series, then please click the videos that are appearing on your screen now. And if you have any comments, I'd be very interested to hear them. Please let me know in the comment section below. I do look at them and I do answer them all. But for now, this is a short overview of normals. I hope it was useful for you. Thank you.